Are you confused on how to get started with email marketing? And everyone keeps telling you make an email marketing strategy, but you don't understand what that means? I'm gonna show you how to make an email marketing strategy and the six steps that you need to follow. And at any point, if I say something that you don't understand, comment down below and ask me a question about it. I'm always happy to help. Now, I made you a board so that you can see everything written out. But I made you a graphic to go with it too. So if you want to download the free graphic, hit my bio and click download. Now, with these six steps of email marketing, you start with research, then you move to strategy. When you go to strategy, you look at your content, your lead capture, your frequency, and segments. When you start with research, you want to make sure that you cover your competitors, goals, and skill set. This means that you need to conduct a competitor analysis. So you want to start by trying to find five to 10 competitors and breaking down their email strategy. Based on what you find, then you are ready to start setting goals. Make sure you set realistic goals that are in accordance with the actual skill set that you have, meaning do you understand email marketing? Can you do copywriting? You got to be very serious and realistic with yourself about your skill set because this is going to play a big role in the outcome of any e email campaigns that you send. If you don't know copywriting, you don't know how to write email subject lines, and you don't know how to do these things, and you either need to learn or you need to outsource it. And lastly, make sure you collect all of the examples that you find of emails that you love that you want your customers to receive. Once you do that, you're ready to start the strategy portion. I like to start with planning out my lead captures just because there's so many different con and so many different things to do. So in the lead captures, you have pop-ups, forms, and games. On pop-ups, I like to do exit intent pop-ups and homepage pop-ups. For forms, they include contact me, giveaway, and freebie downloads. And then for games, you have quizzes, scratch-offs, and spin the wheel. These are also all things that happen on your website. So this is a part of your user experience. This is something that should actually be planned and mapped out before you even build a website. However, you can go back and add it to a website that's already built with the right plugins. Once I map out my lead capture, I like to go to segmenting. When you look into segmenting, there are a few different things that you need to understand. There are tags, and then there are behaviors, and then there are groups. So tags means that you give your customer profile a tagging, means that you label a customer's profile based on something that happened. That's something that happened, could be a behavior. So for example, an action that they take on your site emails that they always open if they're constantly abandoning carts and then groups means that you take all of the people who were tagged and they share similar behaviors and then you put them all together into one group and in that one group you label them as something that's easy for you to remember and then you send them a special type of content based on the content they usually interact with the behaviors that they have and the shared behaviors that they have and this helps you personalize the experience. Once you understand tagging, you're ready to move into content. There are gonna be two subcategories for your content, new subs and most loyal subs. For your new subs, you wanna send them things like a email welcome series, a brand introduction, and nurturing content relevant to your industry to get them acquainted and to build trust and establish yourself as an authority figure. For your most loyal customers, they're already bought in. They're a lot deeper into the buying process than new um, email subscribers would be. So you wanna send them things like special offers, exclusive invites, um, a newsletter, company behind the scenes, and so on and so forth. Lastly, you wanna talk about frequency. How often are you going to be sending email campaigns? If you don't know how often to send email campaigns, just ask your email subscribers. Set the precedent when they sign up for your email campaigns in your pop-ups, in your forms, in your embedded call to actions, in your quizzes when you ask for the email list. Let them know, I'm gonna email you once a week or I'm gonna email you every Monday and Friday. I'm gonna email you twice a month. Whatever it is, set that expectation at the beginning. And if you ever wanna change that expectation, make sure that you email them and let them know and give them a chance to deny what you're trying to do. Doing this helps you build trust. Building trust is the key to having long-term email subscribers. If you want to learn more, I'm going to be breaking this down section by section, step by step. So comment down below and say email if you're excited about this new series.